good morning students today i will take another class on circuit breakers i hope you must have downloaded the video which i had sent you earlier so i will send you the pdf notes soon in the moodle so the students requested me to send the pdf notes which i will soon upload in the moodle so that they can refer to these notes so let us start with today's topic so as now you know already what is restriking voltage what is recovery voltage so these are the fundamentals of the circuit breakers after going through the fundamentals of circuit breakers now we will start with the mechanical constructions of the circuit breaker their classifications what are the different kinds of circuit breakers available in the power system so circuit breakers are commonly classified as per the voltage grade they are used for so basically we have two kinds of voltages one is called low tension voltage another is high tension so a low tension or low voltage high tension or high voltage so depending upon the rating for which the circuit breakers are used we are classifying it as low tension circuit breakers or high tension circuit breakers so low tension circuit breakers are mostly oil less because you see the dielectric strength of oil is higher so wherever high voltage application is required we use oil as a dielectric medium so where we are using for low tension we don't need oil so the low tension breakers are mostly oil less circuit breakers and those circuit breakers which are used for high voltage application are they can be oil type or they can have some gas as dielectric or as arc quenching medium so there are different types among lt circuit breakers and different types among ht circuit breakers so let us first go to the lt circuit breakers so as you can see on the screen the different types of lt circuit breaker are air circuit breaker which is also called acb molded case circuit breaker which we call it as mccb miniature circuit breaker mcb which i think all of you are uh, used to it is a common switch gear device which is used in our homes residual current device which we call it as rcd so these are the different types of low tension circuit breakers which are used for the low voltage application the different types of ht circuit breakers are oil circuit breaker so it is using oil and the other kind is oil less circuit breaker so these are the classifications or you can say different kinds of circuit breakers so let us move on to the next page just hold on okay so now first let us start with subdivision of oil circuit breaker so subdivision of oil circuit breaker is where it is used for high tension application that is called bulk oil circuit breaker which is also called as bocb this is abbreviated as bocb another one is minimum oil circuit breaker mocb which we call and also this is also known as low oil circuit breaker or small oil circuit breaker so basically these three terms are same mocb low oil circuit breaker or small oil circuit breaker 
So these are the broad classification of oil circuit breaker which we are using in case of high tension. So oil less circuit breakers they are also subdivided into water circuit breakers where we are using water as the arc extinguishing media. Then there is a air blast circuit breakers where we are using blast of air. Next is SF6 sulfur hexafluoride circuit breakers. This is a latest technology which we also call as gas insulated circuit breaker. And then vacuum circuit breaker where we are using vacuum as arc extinguishing medium. Okay, so as I discussed in the beginning of the lecture, uh, air circuit breaker. So first let us start what technical features air circuit breaker has. So these are all low tension circuit breakers. So as you can see on the screen, the current rating of air circuit breaker is from 300 to 6300 amps. And usually we are using it on the incoming side of the LT switch gear. That is low tension switch gear. So these are the features of the air circuit breaker. That is all of you know that there is a contact system with arc quenching system and there is a mechanism manually or automatically you can open and close the contacts. So here we are using air as an extinguishing medium between the contacts, normal air. Another one is molded case circuit breaker which we also denote as MCCB. MCCB. Now, MCCB is very similar to the air circuit breaker, but it has some addition features. The additional features are, there is one electronic sensing system, which is able to detect the fault, and then it is able to open the circuit breaker and the fault condition. So, the current ratings are, 10 amps to 1600 amps. So in these circuit breakers which we are using for the low tension usually in the arcing chamber. Arcing chamber is the chamber where arc takes place and it is extinguished. So the space between the contacts where the arc is initiated is known as arcing chamber. So we use number of metal arc splitters which you are able to see they are like horns or like v-shape so what happens when the arc is formed in this space it is dragged upwards between these two plates because it is v-shape this is v-shape so the arc is getting moving up it is getting dragged along this v like this so when this arc, this is completely arc, so the arc is now um, widened or lengthened. This is, this arc is lengthening. There is a lengthening of arc. So when there is a lengthening of arc, there is a uh, resistance. 